Well, early start for the flight this morning, eh? Hey? <laughs> Absolute heaven, isn't it? All these wheels. Look at this. Our time in Tasmania was over and we decided to head back to Southeast Asia going through Bali. So we jumped on Skyscanner and managed to find a really good deal on a Qantas business class flight that left from Hobart, uh, had a short stop over in Sydney and then from Sydney through to Denpasar all on the same day. Okay, we're in Sydney. All we're going to do now is find the shuttle bus that takes us from the domestic terminal to the international terminal and then find the Emirates Lounge. Grace found the duty free shop while I'm reconnoitring to try and find where the Emirates Lounge is so we can get there post haste. Because we were flying Qantas business class it also allowed us access into the Emirates Lounge at Sydney Airport and we'd heard some really good things about this lounge and were very keen to see what it was like. Oh, we made it. <laughs> Tell you what, though, it's quite a walk. It's a long way from the Qantas Lounge, and for most of the Qantas flights to part, it's probably about a 15 minute walk. It's way down the other end of the airport. <laughs> so you'd have to get here with plenty of time in order to make use of the lounge and then do the hike back up to where your plane departs from. We've cut it a little bit too fine with our connections, so we've only got time for a, a quick drink and a little bit of snack before we've got to head back up for our. That was probably worth it. Good experience. Refreshments and our pre flight nipples and drinks. Joe's bringing up the rear there. And we've got to get to the gate 33, which is quite a hike, as I said before, so we're going to step it out. Our flight through to Denpasar was to be in one of the recently refurbished A330-200 aircraft in what Qantas are now tagging as their business class suites. The business class area contains uh, 28 of these suites in a one-to-one -one configuration. As you might expect with Qantas, the onboard service was exceptional and after settling into our suites we were offered a pre-departure drink and I chose a, a cheeky bubbly and then decided to have a look at what the amenities kit contained. 
Uh, it did in fact contain the usual suspects, of which probably only the toothpaste and toothbrush were the ones that I was likely to use. Now, right at your elbow, you'll find the controls for the lighting as well as the seating. There's quite a generous uh, area for storage of your personal items, uh, noise cancelling headphones and an LED reading light. There's a lift-up panel under which is the controls for the onboard entertainment and in the lid there's a small mirror. Also behind that control area is the USB charging as well as international power outlets. Tray table operates very slickly and as it slides across it looks quite solid. It's also able to be slid forward further so you don't get that claustrophobic hemmed in feeling. Are you watching movies angry? Yeah. <laughs> Making the most of everything. <laughs> that unless you're fully reclined, if you just want to extend the legs out a little bit, they do tend to be left hanging out in space. Now the business class bathrooms, while not being exceptionally spacious, were really clean and tidy uh, and the crew maintained that level right throughout the flight. including vegetarian options and the servings were very generous and particularly tasty. Local television is coming up to 15 minutes power state in the evening. With your safety in mind, please stay in your seat until the captain has switched off the bus signal sign. And for those of you that have your mobile phone within reach, you can now switch it over from the phone. Running second in the dash to the immigration point. Well, we got through immigration probably in record time. I reckon from the time we stepped off the plane to getting through immigration, maybe three minutes. <laughs> but we've probably got about another 10 or 15 to wait before your bags come through, so 